All right, folks, what I wanted to talk about uh, at this particular point is uh, uh, the document for this particular unit, and the document is Rosie the Riveter. Now, most people ha have seen a version of Rosie the Riveter before. Um, they've seen a more modern version of it. Um, what's important is this. Um, we're really in the intra-war period for most of this chapter, but we're going to be drug kicking, kicking and screaming into World War II. Um, one of the things we learned with World War I is we know how to produce. We definitely know how to produce, we definitely know how to fight, we definitely know how to ramp up production. What will happen with this is uh, pretty interesting stuff because when you take a few million men and you throw them into the military, they're going to adapt. The problem is, is if you take a few million men off of the production line to put them in the military, you're going to have gaps. And so what we've got at this particular point is the Office of Public Information is going to take over or the equivalent of the modern times of public information. And so what they're going to do is start pushing for production and, and to fill the production gaps. Now, they can fill those one of two ways. Uh, first, um, what they're going to do is make a logical appeal uh, to women. And the idea is to have women leave their normal roles, to leave their place in society, to leave uh, the domestic servant attitude and go in and um, not become men, but do men's jobs. And that's where Norman Rockwell is going to come into play at is Norman Rockwell is going to go in and he's going to paint Rosie the Riveter. He's going to paint her in such a way that shows that women can indeed do men's jobs, that women can indeed still be feminine and yet do men's jobs along the way. Now, it's interesting they're going to make this appeal to women first uh, because the secondary choice is going to go to the, the alternative populations. It's going to be uh, appealing to the African Americans. It's going to be uh, appealing to the Hispanic communities. It's going to be appealing to the other ethnic communities. But first, they wanted to take it and recruit women along the way. And so this is uh, Rockwell's effort to go ahead and do that, is to recruit women. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at this piece of art, at this document, at this... Uh, well, I don't know how to phrase it nicely, but the idea is he's trying to convince you of something and he's trying to portray a message. Um, I've included a link to the Saturday Evening Post and some information about the document itself. But uh, what I want you to do is uh, go ahead and review and take a look at the piece of artwork and take a look at the elements of it. Um, how is Rosie painted? Because Rosie has got a set of guns on her, you know, her, her biceps. Um, are larger than mine, not to mention that the rivet gun she's got sitting in her lap, but there's a lot of other elements to that document I want you to look at. And what it does is it screams patriotism, it screams nationalism, it, it screams that, listen, we can make America great again, and ladies, that you can get out there and you can do your job and you can take over and, and you can fill in for the man and yet you can still be ladylike. I love the fact that Rosie's sitting there, and yet she's still got this rouge, she's still got this makeup, she's still got the, the lipstick on, and yet she's also got soot, and she's got the overalls, and, you know, she is both masculine and feminine at the same time, and so the idea is he's delivering this message. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through and analyze, and tell me what the message is, and tell me what he's trying to portray and kind of break it down a little bit because this is important stuff, okay? Um, there, there's a lot of messages going on out there and I want you to be able to look and see what the message truly is. All right, I'm gonna let you go for now, but take a look and make sure you get this turned in on time. Thank you.